And from the Red Chambers, we have a very distinguished Nigerian Senate Committee Chairman on Diaspora Matters. Help me welcome distinguished Senator Victor Ume. Thank you very much. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the Honorable Minister for Sports Development, Distinguished Senator John Eno, my brother, the Minister for Housing and Urban Development, Architect Ahmed Dangiwa, I welcome you. The, because the Chairman of the House of Representatives uh, Committee on Diaspora Affairs, Honorable Tanko Adamu, my workaholic Chairman of NIDCOM, Honorable Abike Dabri Elewa, all the stakeholders invited to this summit, um, representative of the Minister of State, Federal Capital Territory, Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to stand out this afternoon to make just a brief remark on this very important summit, Nigeria Diaspora Investment Summit, um, organized by Nigerians in Diaspora Commission. It is a well-established fact that Nigerians are in two categories those in Nigeria and those abroad. Those of us who are in Nigeria were already at home, working very hard to see how we can drive the much needed change in Nigeria. The very critical, important component in this effort will be what we'll be able to bring in from Nigerians in the diaspora. The Nigerians in the diaspora are in uh, better economies as things have unfolded. Nigeria has an ailing economy, and it's a collective responsibility for all of us to drive Nigeria to the required place of comfort and development. So this summit, investment summit, is very important because the target will be to bring Nigerians that are doing very well outside Nigeria to come home as Nigerians and partner with the Nigerian government. The government we have in place today is very hungry to bring about the desired change from what we are seeing so far, and therefore, there are no better partners in this effort than Nigerians that are well placed outside Nigeria who are driving business and uh, very prominent um, developments globally. In America, we have Nigerians at the top of many corporations, either as vice president, as executive director. We have Nigerians abroad who are making waves in the health sector, in technology, in agriculture, in power generation, so many businesses that are doing well. But these important Nigerians are over there. They are leaving Nigeria to grapple with its own efforts. People come from outside to do business with Nigeria, foreign business uh, organizations, I don't think there's anyone that would be more patriotic than Nigerians that are on top of these businesses abroad. If they can come home and partner with the Nigerian government, they will be given access to all the facets and sectors of our national economy for them to make their own contribution. They should come and do business with us. They're not coming to help us. They should be able to come home and do business with the Nigerian government. And, uh, of course, make their own profits and will take part of the profits because they are Nigerians. They must take care of the home front. 
So this summit is um, very important and targeted at having access to Nigerians who can drive big businesses. Let them come home and invest. It's only by so doing that we'll be hoping to catch up with our needs. Many Nigerians in diaspora are calling us that we should do everything now to ensure that uh, Nigerians in diaspora vote during the elections. It's very important, but the most critical thing is for them to help drive the process of development here. That's the most important thing. Because if the, we are still working on uh, how to count our votes in Nigeria, and by the time we introduce um, internet voting and all that, maybe our results will not be ready in two years. <laughs> you know. So but the only way they can help us now is to attract their businesses. Come here. Nigeria is still a virgin ground for so many businesses. Virgin ground. When you go to America and see the conglomerates, even in retail business, you see them replicated in all the cities in, in the United States. Something like the Amazon, Tesco, and so on and so forth. In Nigeria, we don't have such businesses. So people who are outside should come home. They are also in a better position to have access to investment capital than those of us who are at home. Um, if they can think and look inwards, um, we shall be helping ourselves. So this summit, uh, this is the sixth in the series from what I have seen. I commend the chairman of Nightcom. Uh, we need to also go out to mount this investment summit outside the shores of Nigeria. We should be able to go to America, go to Europe, Canada, everywhere, and put up investment summits for Nigerians in the diaspora so that they will know that they can actually come home and do business. I, yes, let them come home and be with us. I've seen the uh, Honorable Minister of uh, Housing and Urban Development, because he's an architect, he knows what it is. He's already launching uh, mortgage um, a finance program for those in the diaspora. It's, it's a veritable way of opening up the shores because housing is a very critical component of national development and we need to harvest our people all over the world. Everybody should put hands on deck. Let us work together and see what we can do for ourselves in the next two, three, four years and beyond, but the foundations must be laid now through collaborative efforts. So on this day, I am here to give you that goodwill message and to also tell you that we we'll support your efforts in Nightcom. Um, in the National Assembly, my younger brother, Tanko Adamu, has said so. We are here to listen to Nigerians and make laws that will lead to good governance in this country and laws that will add investment inflows into Nigeria. We must be able to attract investments into Nigeria to be able to support our economy. So we are ready at any time. Any sector can bring their own ideas to us. Um, it's for us to make the enabling laws that will fast track these visions so that Nigeria will really come up and uh, be counted as a very developed economy. I thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much, distinguished. Thank you, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. A quick recognition of the technical advisor to the Honorable Minister of Agriculture and Nigeria, uh, SAPZ coordinator, Federal Ministry of Agriculture, Dr. Kabir Yusuf. I'm told he is uh, in the room. Dr. Kabir, uh, where are you, sir? Please, a round of applause for him. Thank you very much, Dr. Kabir Yusuf, for being here. Thank you.
Um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll take a very brief um, uh, remark from the Executive Governor of River State, His Excellency Similae Joseph Obara, represented by Mr. Joe Johnson, Information and Communication uh, Commissioner. Please welcome him with a round of applause.